Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, 2023 is a stacked year of game releases by the looks of it, but you know me as a Final Fantasy fan for over two decades now. I am so stoked for Final Fantasy 16, and we finally got some more information about the game in the form of a new trailer, the Ambition trailer. I've already watched it three times. This trailer looks tremendous, and this game looks fantastic. And it's really getting me excited for a brand new mainline Final Fantasy title. After I know the last few have left people a little bit lukewarm. Final Fantasy VII Remake aside, I'm talking Final Fantasy XV, Final Fantasy XIII. Um, those were games that I personally enjoyed aspects of them, and I probably enjoyed Final Fantasy XIII a lot more than most people. Final Fantasy XV really had its narrative issues, but I think Final Fantasy XVI is really taking the franchise back on track, and there is so much potential for the game. Obviously, if you have yet to see it yourself, go watch the Ambition trailer, because this trailer is more about a setting the tone for the world and the characters introducing you to those aspects of the game, not to mention... Giving you a little bit of a glimpse on that tremendous soundtrack. Final Fantasy would not be Final Fantasy without some great music. And this is a game that looks to have some fantastic music and a fantastic soundtrack to boot. So we got a lot of information coming from Naoki Yoshida and Square Enix regarding the game, so let's talk all about it. The trailer description notes, Who shall claim their fading light from a single spark? Will the land ignite? A new shadow rises to fall upon the dominance, painting their destinies black as night. It has been 1,500 years since the fall of our forebearers. And Melistia has been slowly dying ever since. Darkness spreads as day gives way to twilight. The mother's flame now all but flicker. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the Mother Crystals. Now, we also got some comments from Naoki Yoshida, noting, Greetings, everyone. I'm happy to announce that our newest trailer, Ambition, is now live. Rather than focusing on action as we did in our latest reveal, this time we wanted to give the world a more in-depth look at Final Fantasy XVI's lore and its rich cast of characters with the dominant front and center. The flames of war spread as Velistia enters an age of twilight. Where will fate lead the dominance and what future awaits the realm at the end of of this bitter conflict. There are still many more questions to be answered, many more truths to be uncovered. With regards to development, the team has turned the corner and entered the home stretch and is currently concentrating its efforts on debugging, tweaking, polishing, and optimization. As for promotion over the next few weeks, myself, main director Hiroshi Takai, creative director and localization director, will be taking part in interviews with multiple media outlets from across the globe to bring you even more information. So make sure you keep your eyes out for those as well. Hiroshi Takai also spoke a little bit about it, noting a lot of the same stuff. Hello, our third trailer is finally here and jam-packed with exciting new information that provides a better picture of how the game's setting, lore, and characters tie in with our compelling narrative. Hopefully, it was worth the wait. Also noted, the game edges closer to completion. The team has turned its attention to debugging and final adjustments. Now that things are starting to come together, the game is sizing up to be something truly special. We know you are all hungry to see more, but for now, we hope this little peek into the world of FF16 is enough to keep you satisfied and speculating until our next big reveal. I should also note that the game was still noted for a summer 2023 release and the vibe that I'm getting from the Final Fantasy 16 trailer and not just this trailer but all of the trailers, all of the footage we've seen thus far, this does seem to have a little bit more of a mature tone than some of the other Final Fantasy titles. Not to say that Final Fantasy was ever really geared towards a younger, younger audience but this one does have a grittier, a darker, a more mature ambiance and tonality to it so that is something pretty interesting as well. We were also introduced to some of the new characters, Dion, Crown Prince of the Holy Empire of Sandbrook, and leader of its noblest and most feared order of Knights the Dragoons. Dion is loved and respected by both his people and his troops, not least for the many times he has turned the tide of battle in their favor. Indeed, songs of he the heroism of the War Prince and his Bahamut, King of Dragons, are never far from the lips and lutes of Sandbrook's bards, but all is not well in the Empire, and the gathering shadows may yet be enough to quell Bahamut's light. Then we of Barnabas arriving on the shore of Ash as a landless and titleless wanderer. It was Barnabas's skill with a blade that won him a kingdom, and though the local beastmen were to rise in revolt against his rule, he called on the power of Odin to quell the rebellions nigh single-handedly, bring the entirety of the eastern continent under the banner. Now he has an army and navy that rival any in Valistia at his disposal. Yet still, the king is drawn to where the fighting is the thickest, riding into battle atop his spectral steed and sundering foes 
foes with his fabled black blade or merely observing the unfolding chaos from the sidelines, a grisly gleam of fascination ever in his eyes. So you are introduced to a plethora of characters. Those are just the two that got descriptions as well. Those are the dominants, of course, of Bahamut and Odin, so that is definitely something to keep an eye on. We also did get some new scenes from the trailer in the form of screenshots, courtesy of the PlayStation blog. We have a master of both Ice and Blade, Clive wielding abilities in battle, and the battle system still looks as action-heavy particle effects, Clive versus Garuda, Odin's dominant versus Ifrit as well. The development team, again, is currently in the home stretch of Final Fantasy 16. It is scheduled for summer 2020. So some of you might be wondering, how is this the home stretch if we still have nine months to go? Well, keep in mind that the home stretch, you know, fixing bugs, polishing up the game, that is a big undertaking. And ultimately, the game will go gold uh, probably eight or so weeks out before release. So really, you've got six to seven more months of hard development to go. And then the game is going to be putting on its real finishing uh, touches being printed onto disc. We don't know exactly when in summer. I could easily see this being shifted towards like a September release window but excitement seems to be at an absolute pinnacle when you talk about Final Fantasy 16. You just look at the reception on social media right now and it seems like people are buzzing about this game and Final Fantasy 15 definitely had that level of buzz. I mean hell, Final Fantasy 15 had a reveal event where they announced the release date. That's how much people were excited for it. By the way, that release date that they catered and centered a reveal event around, that was a delayed release date. Like they ultimately delayed the game again. So in the case of FF16, it's been nice to see the game get a consistent stream of updates without any real turmoil in the development. Like, I really can't remember at any point people were worried about FF16. Sure, did I want to play the game earlier? Did I want to play the game this year? Fine, that's just me being excited for the game. Every single time, Naoki Yoshida and the team were just like, it's making progress, it's making progress. At no point were we like, this game's in development hell. Oh, things aren't going right. No, we got a consistent stream of updates and content towards the game. And now as we're getting closer to the release and they're really putting the finishing touches on it, I imagine that the content updates are going to happen a little bit more frequently, especially with new interviews to come and more information rolling out about the game. I expect a darker narrative with this one. I expect action-heavy gameplay based on what we've seen. I I like how they are focusing in on the summonings as a core element of the story. Them being literal weapons of war, I think that's a pretty interesting take on a darker Final Fantasy story. And ultimately, from a narrative standpoint, it seems to be something incredibly compelling and a little bit of a more different take on Final Fantasy. I have a lot of faith in Naoki Yoshida and his team for delivering something of quality with FF16. It is going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Would I be surprised with it being a PC release at some point? Yeah, I could easily see it being on PC. Hopefully it comes out on PC. Hopefully it comes out on Xbox. I want a game like this to be played by as many people as possible. And hopefully this is a Final Fantasy title that's revered at the lengths that some of the classic Final Fantasy games were. Really, ever since Final Fantasy X, I feel like it's been a little bit of a mixed bag with Final Fantasy as a whole in terms of reception. Like, I loved Final Fantasy XII. I enjoyed Final Fantasy XIII, FF15, not so much, but Hopefully this is one that almost unanimously is praised by everyone when it does eventually release. And it seems like Yoshida and the team are cooking up something special. So let me know your guys' thoughts of the trailer, what you guys thought based on watching it. I'm really happy that they're giving more insight on the narrative elements of the game because, as I've mentioned in the past, that's the, that's the component of Final Fantasy XV that really did not win me over. And I think narratively there's a lot of exciting elements with FF16 and uh, exciting to see that look lore and uh, a lot of those elements and characters being fleshed out even ahead of when we ultimately play the game that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.